Hello and welcome to Technic SSP Raising a City. I am Gary Reaver. In this series, filmed entirely on Technic Survival Single Player, I'm going to be building a fully functioning city, complete with a power grid, plumbing and everything else that a living city needs. I'll be building it on this land reclaimed from this jungle forest and I'll be incorporating natural features like this river and as you can see I've already begun to make it more appropriate for a city. For the resources to build all of this, I already have an established base as this is my main Technic world and I've also quarried out all the land below this cobblestone. It's entirely hollow and it's granted me quite a lot of resources with which to build the city. As you can see, it's all the way down to the bedrock and almost the entire area is quarried out. The more I quarry, the larger the city will be able to become. The first thing I'm going to be building, the first part of this series, is the founding steps of the power grid. It's a small substation. So I've marked it out with iron scaffold here, so I can get the dimensions right. And now I've built on that with more iron scaffold to create a shell, as this seems to be the natural progression of the building. I then filled in the gaps with stone bricks, as that will form the bulk of the building itself, and then replaced the remains of the scaffold with polished stone slabs. I think this contrasts well and gives it a bit of variation. I then knocked holes in it to allow for the rest of the details. Okay, now that the bulk of the building is done, it's time to go in and do the fiddly bits that can only be done with Technic. So, to start off with, it's time we placed the storage device. So, I've built an MFSU that I'm going to place here, because I want to run the power underground. So down and place it there. So as you can see the plug is here and I'll be able to wire a sort of walkway system underneath here. To access this walkway we're going to need an entrance. So knock a hole in there. So I'll connect it by ladders so we can get into the under walkway. Next we need to fill in these sides I've gone for construction foam because it allows me to colour them and also it'll allow me to thread cable through it. And I can't place it as it is so I'm, I'm going to need to use a CF sprayer and that'll not only give it a nice look but it'll also disguise the the entrance of the cable and won't have a, a gaping hole. Here however I'm going to need some lighting so some yellow and black lamps and I'm going to do a little trick with redstone lamps that up so I don't keep falling in. And now what we do is we place a lever there and we run red alloy wire along here. Ah. Okay. Doesn't like going across two half slabs so take them and instead place them vertically like that so it looks exactly the same but it'll let me run a cable along it. And then if I flick this cable it should turn all four on. 
And then to disguise it, I take some stone bricks. Cut them down into stone brick covers. And place them like that. And then I do the same with this. See, I've used polished stone slabs instead of ordinary stone slabs. Because not only does it double the output, because for each ordinary slab you get two polished stone slabs, it also allows me to do stuff like that and, and hide things in it. So by flicking the switch, you can turn on the lights. Okay, now this stuff's starting to dry, so I shall repeat the pattern. Yellow in the top left, black on the other two. And this should indicate that it is dangerous electronics. So for this, to cover it, cable with CF you've got to use a sprayer and then quickly get rid of any excess. So now I can connect that there and paint these. And now I have two concealed cables. I'll put on a door and replace these stone bricks with a double stone slab there. Now it's time to do underground. So I can use my Swift Wolf's Rending Gale to fly. And I've decided to go for iron fence supports with an iron panel platform. So, got to have a couple of these coming down to fix my ladder to. That, like that, and I've got all of this space to work with. So let's have that coming down to about there. And I'll put down one of these. Not low enough. One lower. At the moment it's guesswork, because I'm working from an unfamiliar angle. I'd like this to be thin, so I should I'll place that there instead. With this one. one on the other side as well, like that, and then a couple on this side just to support the very end of the platform. Like that. And I'll have wooden ones going between them and they connect nicely to the iron ones, which will give it a very interesting look and a nice safe rail. So I fly to connect this. And I've gone for glass fibre cable because it has an amazing ability to retain charge, whereas other cables lose charge after just a few blocks. Glass fiber cable can retain charge for 40 blocks without losing any power, which makes it the perfect cable to run underneath my city. So if I try out every three and then another support, means I won't have them too often, but it'll give me the chance. 
do have nice open corners. So I can have one going off between there, for example. If I want to, perhaps I'll just leave this open, just in case. Like that. So this will be a nice encased walkway, no chance of falling off, apart from unfinished bits like that. And I'll be able to extend this happily to any to underneath any buildings. I can always check the charge here. Turn the lights off and leave. There we go.